here's an, another great, great, excellent find. This is a late 50s or early 60s Sears Silvertone portable record player. I just got this one last month for absolutely free. Absolutely nothing, to be exact. Uh, at um, Probably at my job, but not a, at a yard sale, not a thrift store, not Goodwill. It's an, it's a rare find. But anyway, the, the record player is in excellent condition, but there are actually some problems. We'll see if I can open this up and see what it is. Let's open this hood. And yep, there it is. This is the Silvertone record player, a portable record player for you to have for everyone that everybody likes. As you can see here, it's got the, the that has that little mat right there. It's made of it made out of metal. It's a metal platter. And it's got the, the three speed controls, 33 to third, 45 and 78, that's a three speed control. And of course there's your volume and tone. Here it is. There's the volume. There's the volume and off switch and the tone switch. And also came with yeah, it's a heavy tone arm and had this weird cartridge. As you can see, there it is. That's the that's the cartridge that, that has that weird pickup cartridge and the little bitty needles. See? The needles that goes in there. So that's there it is. As you, as you can see them. And of course, for some odd reason, this is more like a kitty record player to be exact. But um, I'm going to show you some problem here. Uh, since uh, since this is a, an, a record player, but it needs some repairs here. So I'm, I'm going to show you right now. Uh, the problem is I took the... Um, the wirings out there because it was has the old wires there but some odd reason take a look at this this is the wiring yep it's kind of like the they used that for originally came from the tone arms but it snaps off completely and of course by itself and look somebody used a, the red wiring I need to see if they can get a new one to resolder it uh, once I have to actually have to get the soldering tools and try to repair this one and if not, I'll have to get another record player. Yep, this one has that bad wires or something from the tone arm, but uh, it doesn't work and didn't work properly well. So, thankfully, I have my 1975 GE Wildcat, but it still works. But it works good, especially if you have seen Vinyl Records Never Dies video that he he did his 1972 Wildcat. You should check it out. And of course, here's the problem. Once I have to lift this thing up. But now here's the problem. It, this is a tube record player, so it's a tube unit. Let's see, once you turn this on. Yep, there's the humming noise. I have to see this. Yep, the thing it starts to hum a lot. But it still works good. So now I have to provide you with this record. I'm going to play uh, a song from the, the, the movie, that, which, is, which is called the Dumbo soundtrack, which was, yep, it's going to be coming out on Blu-ray DVD next year as a special edition. It's not going to be platinum edition anymore. It's going to be special edition. So now, just to try to play this one right now and see what was wrong with that. So... I don't know if it comes out with the sound. As you can see, the speaker doesn't come out good. And here's the speakering, but You have the speaker thing. Yep, there it is. It's kind of all dusty. See that? That doesn't even come out. The speaker doesn't come out good.
Alright, uh, enough of this already. Yep. That has this, uh, that's not gonna sound good at all, cause, yeah, the speaker doesn't come out really well. And, we'll just hold on a second. I I'm gonna show you the inside of my, of my late 50s, early 60s, uh, Sears Silvertone record player. And, um, just hold on just a second. Okay. Here is the inside of the uh, the Sear Silvertone portable record player. This is a this is a uh, this is a, uh, a tube type. It has the original speaker, which is still good. Yep, speakers are a little bit good, so it still plays well. And yep, it has the motor on the uh, and with all the wirings in there. But this is the uh, this one has no belts on there. This is the idler wheel and all that stuff. And yep, these are all the original capacitors, and this one right there, as you, as you can see, this is the electrolytics capacitor, and these are all the original components there. Yeah, never been replaced. And these right there has the original silver tone tubes, has two tubes on there, and yeah, there's the amplifier tubes, and of course it has the plated number on there. It says. In all correspondence related to this unit, always mention in this chassis number 137906-1. Order replacement parts by mail or through any of our retail stores. Sears Roebuck and Company USA. And, um, there you go. That's all I can do for now. And that is it, I should say. Um, I hope it'll get this running soon, and uh, I, I wish if I can tell the staff one of these someday I might see if they can get a soldering tool. I have to do this outside. I have to redo the the wirings on there. Maybe it can re maybe it'll, it needs to be replaced. Those wirings on the tone arm and all that stuff. And yeah, you can see it's right there. The thing that snaps off there. That's the wiring. And um, and that's basically it, I think. Well, this enjoys this one. I hope you'll get this running very soon. So if not, I might see if I can get another one. So thanks in advance, and I, and I hope you enjoy it, and I will see you again in my next video.